Opportunities abound. Which one to choose? One of my favorite tools to help prioritize opportunity, especially at an early stage, is a tool originally developed by George Day at the Harvard Business School in 2007 called Real Win Worth. It's a tool that can not only help prioritize new opportunities, but rate individual programs as they move through the stage gate process. It works like magic to engage, inspire, and align teams around the elements for program success. The premise is simple. Start by asking three categories of questions. First, is it real? That is, is the product technically feasible, and does the market for the new product or service exist? The second category answers the question, can we win? addressing the competitive position of both the product and the company bringing the product to market. The third category asks, is it worth it? Judging the economic impact by asking questions like the return on investment, uh, the capital requirements, and, or if there's other strategic benefits. Sound complicated? It's not. Let me explain further. In each of these general categories, together with a cross-functional team, develop three or four questions to get at the underlying facts. In Is It Real, for example, you might ask if the technology exists and is well understood by the company, if there's a validated end user need, or specifically how large the initial market will be. For each of these questions, you then assign a number value, 9, 3, 1, or 0, corresponding to the answer. A large market, let's say over $100 million, might be a 9. Greater than $50 million, a 3. Greater than $10 million, 1. And less than $10 million, a 0. With this pre-established ranking for each question, it will be easy later to assign number values to the responses. When you have completed three or four questions in each section, now it's time to add a weight to each of the questions. I like the weights to total 100, so you would, if you had 12 questions, an average weighting would be 8. Weight the questions based on how important the attribute is. If, for example, your new business will require significant advertising dollars, the weight for high gross margin to support the investment might be a 15 or 16, twice the average. When you have the weights total 100, now it's time to list your competing projects on the x-axis and, together with your team, score each of the options with the questions. Likely you'll find there is some disagreement, and that's always good. Talk through the issues until you reach consensus on the score for each question. Here's an example using the real section. Note each question and the corresponding scores for each. If you set up the spreadsheet correctly, the numerical scores from each cell are multiplied by the question's weight and a total score is calculated. Those projects with the highest scores likely have the highest probability of success. Magic. In this example, entitlement, or the best a project could be, would score 900, that is 9 times 100. So you can also gauge how compelling any one opportunity is versus the very best idea. You can also use the tool to evaluate potential shortfalls in individual projects and track progress as they move through your stage gauge process, simply by tracking progress in improving the outcome as the project advances. It's a pretty versatile tool. I've used it with my children to help select a breed of dog, just rate the attributes you most care about, and score various breeds. I've also used it to help select a lake cabin, and at the office we've used a variation of the tool for human resource selection. The possibilities are almost endless. Whatever the use, to be effective, it should always be developed with a team. Gaining consensus on the question, attribute ratings, and weightings. Done correctly, this simple tool can help ensure decisions are pragmatic and data-driven. In the next video, I'll walk you through a real-life example to see how the tool works.